Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser Skit. How are you, my dear learners? In this video, I'm going to share one of the fantastic best AI research tools, which is called SciSpace. This is useful for the literature review and meta analysis data collection. I'm going to share A to Z all the features of SciSpace, the free versions and the pro versions. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. My dear learners, at the very beginning, you have to log in to using your Gmail account. I have my Gmail account and you can use your Gmail account to log in to the SciSpace platform. At this moment, the SciSpace platform is located in the typeset.io. If you search this typeset.io, you will find out the SciSpace literature review. This is the interface, the beginning interface. As you can see, the beginning interface, there is a chat with PDF, my library, as well as home, literature review, AI writer, find concepts, paraphraser, cite, citation generator, and many more. So let us talk about two of my research articles, how I design my literature review and the meta-analysis using the size space best AI research assistant tool. The first one I'm talking about the application of time series model in text GDP ratio analysis for India. This is a very simple title and I'm going to study this research using the SciSpace literature review. So as you can see, there are a lot of literature reviews I have cited in this particular paper. All I have to do, starting with the title, copy the whole title and just paste it to the literature review part of SciSpace. Once you type the literature review part, there are top five options would be available very quickly. Hey, as you can see here, that top 10 research papers are added as a summary of all the information that is required using that particular title. So you can see the application of time series models analyzing the test GDP ratio in India involves leveraging advanced statistical and machine learning techniques. So there are a lot of things you can see. And all these information are collected. As you can see, the references are given exactly the recent literature. So you can see here that there are different options like PDF, open access, top tier papers and more filters. You can see there are top 10 papers that are located in the first page, but you can add more papers as you go. Now, one of the interesting things that I first use in my research is the column option. As you can see here that if I click this column option, you will see that there are a number of columns I can use, for example, Future research, dependent variables, dependent variables, population sample, challenges. And I can create my own new columns as well. I already created 17 columns and you can add as much column as you need. So create new column and type and then it will add it to your column list. Column will be something like that. Insights, results, then you have methods to use that particular paper that I'm looking at. And then the next one is the practical applications, contributions, summarize the abstract, summarize the introduction, conclusion, and many more. So each of these paper has different type of introduction, conclusion, methodology. All these are located and summarized in this particular column. Now, if you want to do a filter, for instance, here, if you go to filter, you can see that publication type if i just want to see journal article i can click journal article and then press apply then i can always go to the filter and find out more options for instance journal what i type of journals i'm looking for okay it's a nature stranger quarterly journals cancer research a lot of options that there are almost fifty thousand plus journals i can edit to my specific journal search paper okay Moreover, I can always use a time period. Usually, in my opinion, you can use last five years as a basic for your data college. So once I click the last five years, press apply, and the size space will show you only the last five years papers, which is more relevant to your research time. How fantastic is that, right? And as you can see here, that all the summarizes 10 top 10 papers are given here very easily. And then you can see all these top tier journals like 2021, 2021. All these are very recent papers, 2023, 
So none of these papers are old. All are new papers. Okay. Now one of the other interesting feature in the size case is chat with the paper. Now and let's assume that these top 10 papers, I can add more paper, but at this moment for the for the simplicity and example, I can use these 10 papers to create the columns and download it. This download option is only available to the pro version. Don't worry, you can use the link that I'm sharing in the video description box and there is a discount code for you to get a discount for your monthly and yearly subscription for the size. It's a very interesting tool. If you want to use for monthly and if you like it, then you can go for a yearly basis. Now, if you go to the Expo, there are still here several options like CSV, Excel, Vitex, RIS, lot of options. So if I say only Excel file, then the Excel file will be processed like that. So once the access file will be processed, it should be in five minutes. It says it should be in five minutes, the process will be gone. But in the meantime, I can share with you the chat with PDF option. So if I go to the chat with PDF option, then you will see that the, there are lots of questions you can ask this particular paper. The paper I'm talking about using time series forecasting for analyze GDP growth in India. This is the paper I'm talking about. Now, in this particular paper, you can see that there are different types of questions like where there are unexpected or surprising results reported in this paper, how does this paper enhance existing knowledge, all this information are given over here. You can ask any question regarding this paper or simply click this paper and this will be opened up a new window. Once you open up the new window, you can download the PDF, you can save this to the library option and then you can ask question. There are several customized questions are already given. For example, if you click this one, you can see explain abstract conclusion results of the paper. In the limited option, you can get few questions free. But in the unlimited option, you can ask as many questions as you can. And in my opinion, this is a good option to use as option because there are several questions you can ask and find out its relevance for your research. So it's a very good option. You can try. And one of the explanations you can see here that literature survey of this paper or limitation of the paper. If I say, for example, limitation of the paper, you will see that size space will give you a fantastic way to summarize all the limitation of this particular paper. So you can use this very easy. Now, once you finish this one, you can go and check other like AI writing options. If you go to the AI writing options, you can check that you can write a new paper like that. For example, if I go to the library and you can see, you can ask and upload any PDF and connect it to the Zotero as well. Size space has the option to connect your Zotero important references using this particular option as well. Okay. Now, if you want to go for AI writing options, then you will see that start writing and the AI will write your paper. You don't have to do anything. Just press just press here uh, spacebar and you see there just back is spacebar. You see ask AI to write anything. So if I say the title, same title and press enter, AI will start writing something for you. Introduction of the paper, it will write for you. So you can see that the AI is already writing something for you. If you want to accept this writing, introduction, objective, data collection, all the sections that AI has created, you can just press accept and this will be created and you can download this as a log file as well. How fantastic is that, right? Now, another option, size space is there. It can also extract data. If you click the extract data, that you can upload the data. For example, if you want to upload any paper, for example, this one, one of the papers that I'm currently recently published, I upload it in this particular size space, extracting data for meta analysis. And this paper, if you see here, if you click this one, and now you can ask any ghost. For example, down, show, show, um, regression results. If there is a regression results in the paper, the size space 
the show you whether there is a regression type regression information given in this particular paper so you can easily alert the meta analysis data by asking question in the size in this particular case you can see that the methodology regression analysis there is a 11 percent uh, information given here text information given here which means that the regression results of this particular paper are given because it's a literature review based paper and all the literature reviews those who are related to the regression analysis size space give you all the information you can download your or extract your meta analysis data very easily by using the chat with pdf or just upload the extract data ops click the extract data option the size space will extract your data for your meta analysis one of the research that I, that I have used can digitalization reduce the government corruption this is one of the meta analysis paper that i have used so if i want to go to the home again and search this option and you see there will be uh, several paper coming up from the literature review again and there if i click this one one of the paper and i want to know whether there is a correlation between the digitalization and corruption so i want to ask find out correlation well correlation well let me see whether size space can find out any correlation value from this particular paper because meta analysis needs data correlation mean standard deviation sample size size space chat with pdf can easily find out the correlation paper correlation information or any type of meta analysis data like uh we similar deviation easily from chat with pdf ops so you can see here the all the information are given very easily and very quick okay one last option is the ai detector so if i want to see my paper to use paraphrasing or ai detection then size space has academic ai detector it can catch chat gpt jasper or any other options like will board any other uh paraphrasing options so if you start writing here and then find out that how many how many percentage of ai is there in your paper size space can easily find out that using this ai detects academic ai detect so it's also a very interesting there is another option called the paraphraser if you eat the paraphraser of you don't need separate paraphrasing tools like quillboard or gavel size space can paraphrase your thing very easily for example academic fluent formal pd you can paste your writing and the size space will paraphrase just the a button and there are other options like find concept citation generator is one of the other of used for size space where you can just annually add the paper or you can put the url your paper and search and size space will generate the APA citation generator or Harvard style or Chicago style referencing very easily. So in all in all, size space is a fantastic research assistant tool for your literature and meta analysis. And this tool can be useful for your day-to-day -day research article, reading, writing, and understanding. In my opinion, if you are interested to buy this for a month to try and check whether it is useful for you you can use the video description link and the code to get the discount and if you like it for a one month you can go for one year i have a yearly subscription because i like it and i think this is very useful for my researchers and research community as well thank you so much my dear learners i hope this video is useful for you i will see you in the next video bye bye